you're watching this video, you probably want to be good at tennis. Well, I have bad news for you. No one is good at tennis. Besides the people you see on TV and a few nuts out there, we all suck. Some just suck a little bit less. What is more important than actually being good is that you look good at tennis. When you stroll up to your USTA 3.5 league match, you want your opponent to see you in the match to be over right then and there. When someone drives by and sees you playing tennis, this is what should happen. Holy <laughs> that guy looks good at tennis. So today I'm gonna break down a few key rules to make sure you look like you're good at tennis. Disclaimer, this video is satire. This man is terrible at tennis and even worse has zero idea what he is talking about. Be extremely careful about what advice you take from this video. Rule number one, very simple, load up on these things. Right now I play the pro staff, I only have two of these, I show up to the match with two rackets. No one is confusing me for a good player when I only show up with two of the same rackets. I would suggest buying 12 of the same rackets, showing up to every match with all 12 rackets. This is the fastest way to look good at tennis. Think about it, absolutely no one does that. You gotta be a 12 UTR and above to even justify doing that. If I showed up to a match and someone walked in with 12 of the same rackets, I just might myself. Rule number two is pretty simple and I imagine you're already doing it. Never blame yourself. If it's never your fault for hitting a bad shot, how could someone think you're bad at tennis? The easiest thing to blame is this bad boy right here, your racket. Are we sure these were strung at 55? Feels more like 56 to me. The more technical you can get with your excuses, the better. Your playing partner will have no idea what's going on. Oh my, the swing weight is way off on this thing. Dude, why are these strings getting no snap back? Dude, the flex point on this racket it's just way off right now. Now, if you're running out of ways to blame your racket, I suggest blaming the court. That is why I always show up to my tennis matches with a ruler. My first serve is going long all day. You know what? The service box is just a little short. Yep, I knew it. Rule number three, you have to get your reactions down to a T. When someone hits a good shot, there's nothing worse you can say than, hey man, nice shot. I've never played with a good player that says, nice shot instead it's always nice ball does it sound cooler not really is it easier to say no not at all but the good players say it and so will i another easy way to sound like you're good at tennis is call all the good shots heavy why is this a tennis term i don't know but i think it sounds awesome and you should use it more often. Let's get into rule number four, the dress code. There's no easier way to tell someone's tennis ability than their socks. You only have two options, quarter length or crew length. Knee socks, no. Ankle socks, you better be a 5.0. And the key with the crew socks is you have to wear them at the right length. There's always a little bit of scrunch when you wear a crew sock. There's nothing less intimidating than when someone pulls up to a court with their crew socks pulled up to their ass. The rest of the wardrobe is pretty simple as long as you keep the shorts above the knees and have basic color coordination skills, you should be fine. The last thing you want to do is show up to the court in the same outfit that you saw the guys wearing on TV. Trust me, you don't look good in the confetti outfit that Tiafa is wearing, and Francis, honestly, you didn't look very good in it either. Another key is brand loyalty. One thing I like to do is show up to the courts head to toe in Nike gear. Now, I have zero affiliation with Nike, but some people may mistake that I do and therefore think that I'm good at tennis. And that's just a little tip you can take for yourself to make people think that for some reason, you're good enough at tennis for Nike to be sending you products. I also like to play often in all white. Why? This makes the people driving by think you're playing for some exclusive club, even though you're playing on the courts in the city. All right, guys, rule number five, and I'm sitting down for this one because it's gonna rub some people the wrong way, but it's simple. You gotta play the two-hander. You gotta play the two-hander. It's basic statistics at this point. Nine of the top 10 players in the world are playing the two-hander. Like 45 of the top 50. 
I know, the one-hander, it looks cooler. But guys, Federer, he's not playing anymore. The best you got is TC Pass. And honestly, that, 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 that's not very good. So if I show up to the court, I see someone playing a one-hander, automatically I think they're careless, a lot of air is coming, hit it high to their backhand, you know. You know it's hard for me to talk, I have the worst two-hander on Tennis YouTube, but at least it's a two-hander and I'm playing the statistics. Don't show up with the one-hander, people aren't gonna think you're good. Next rule is use electrolytes. All the pros, they got their electrolytes on the sidelines. Does anyone know what electrolytes do? No, probably not, but the pros use it so you will look better at tennis if you do. I use BPN's electrolyte powder and so should you. I bring a tub of lemon lime every time I show up to the court and you can too. Use code WINNERSONLY15 for 15% off all BPN products. All right, the last thing you must do is find your own signature grunt. People who don't know a lot about tennis watch it on TV. They see the people grunting. They think good tennis players grunt. So why take the risk and confuse a random bystander like this? Wait, why doesn't it sound like they're having sex? A grunt is a surefire way to make people think you know what you're doing. Wait! The actual sound of the grunt doesn't matter. The key is that it's there. Ah! And that people ah, from a couple blocks away can hear it. This way, whoo, they will know that good tennis players are playing nearby. Ah! All right, friend, that is a wrap. Do you agree with the advice? Do you hate it? Let me know in the comments. At the end of the day, tennis is a hard sport, and so is making these YouTube videos. So if you like them, Please subscribe and support the channel. Thanks for watching. Winners only. Peace.